What's going on? Plippo Pick Game here back with another Epic 7 video. And today we're taking a look at DN, the limited rerun banner that she's getting. She got some buffs recently. She got an exclusive equipment. So let's see whether or not she's still worth to pull. So starting off with her skills here, we got her skill number three, uh, which gives you attack buff and critical hit resistance. Uh, the critical hit resistance is 50%. Uh, this is on for three turns so a three turn attack buff and critical hit resistance buff and it also allows her to cycle really really fast after you s3 uh, it gives her a 50 percent cr push uh, not only does she have an exclusive equipment and she got buffs but she is the featured skin in the epic pass right now so uh, even more of a reason to uh to potentially pick her up right her S2 here cleanses up to two debuffs uh, and then gives your entire team a bear. The only thing that she doesn't have is a heal. So she is a Soul Weaver, support Soul Weaver that can be built very, very fast. And so we're going to take a look at a few builds. Now, keep in mind that uh, where you are in the game is going to be very different from where someone else is and from where I am. So uh, I'm going to try to generalize some stats. Uh, my build is not the end all be all. It's actually not even the correct build for her, but that's the build that I can get the stats that I want. And so let's take a look at that. So uh, DN is a Soul Weaver, I Soul Weaver that al allows you to uh, build her really, really fast. And if you got a chance to look at the e7 world championship uh you saw a lot of people were first picking dn uh she was the first unit to start their turn and for the most part if you're playing pvp she is actually one of the most uh in the in the top of most picked units uh however you got to build her very very fast and so as you can see as you can see she is on a speed hit build yes hit build uh, she doesn't have any debuffs, so the hit build is there because of the speed. And so this is the fastest speed broken set that is going to give us the speed that we want. Now, you might be saying, there's no way I can hit that kind of speed. My speed isn't insane. As you can see, my right side pieces are very slow. I'll show you her stats. Again, I'm going to generalize some stats. Uh, there are builds that are way better than mine, uh, but let's talk about her. So here are her stats. In general, she's going to be built tanky with as much speed as you can if your goal is for her to go first or before the rest of your team. Uh, so mine is 272 speed on the slower end for openers, uh, not really fast enough to be an opener. Uh, ideally, she would be even faster than 270, but if you're thinking about pulling her and you've already been farming Wyvern turn 13, you should have some speed here. I think anywhere from 220 up is going to be viable in RTA. If you're just trying to reach Masters RTA, uh, building a tanky DN with some effect res uh, and some decent speed should be fine. If you're trying to move up into the higher ranks, you're probably going to need a lot more speed more effect res but as you can see i have about 127 effect res uh, i have 34 effectiveness which is wasted on her because again she is a soul weaver doesn't have any debuffs ideally that would be in her stat for speed but let's talk about her exclusive equipment here so she does get an additional 10 speed onto her base speed uh, which allows her to be built really really fast if you have insane gear right uh, but her exclusive equipment actually allows her to give your entire team a combat readiness push by 15%. So you can cleanse everybody on your team, uh, two debuffs at least, and then give everybody a CR push. So that's kind of why most opener DNs are picked, uh, because they can push the entire team and help the rest of your team go before your opponent, right? Uh, but the 10 speed is huge. Keep in mind that she doesn't heal. So what I usually run her on is Rod of Amaryllis. And this allows her to heal by up to 18%. I only have it at plus 15. This works just fine at plus 15. And she heals after she uses a non-attack skill. And so she has two non-attack skills, her S3 and her S2. Uh, the only thing is it does heal only the lowest health a unit. 
So it's not an AOE heal. Her main purpose is not to heal your team, uh, but it's to turn cycle as fast as possible. She has a CR push on her S1, uh, which again allows her to turn cycle really, really fast. So you got a 50% CR push from the S3. You got a 15% CR push from the S2. And then you got a 15% CR push on the S1. Uh, and that is a lot of turn cycling. That's why people have been building her very, very fast. And then on top of that, if you're planning on bringing her in RTA, Soul Weavers get a base set, uh, base boost to their speed by seven speed. So my DN here is uh, 279 base speed. So if you're thinking about playing with speeds, things like that, Soul Weavers do get that additional speed, which allows you to build her even faster uh, than you can with your gear with that additional speed. Uh, she's great in PvE. She was a unit that I've been using in Labyrinth uh, for the longest time since I pulled her. I've only ever pulled once uh, for DN and have never regretted that decision. Even before she got her buffs, uh, she was still really, really good in PvE. A lot of people compare, uh, I guess, her use similar to uh, Tamarin for PvE. However, I still think Tamarin is way better in PvE. Uh, then Dien, however, Dien now with her cleanses on the S2, CR pushes, combat readiness, more base speed, uh, can definitely be a top contender. And she's a limited unit, so if you don't pull her now, uh, you might not get a chance to pull her later down the road. They have featured her in group banners where you can kind of pick and choose, uh, but just know that you can pretty much run her on any build that you want. Uh, so let's take a look at a few builds here just so you can kind of get an idea. Of course, you can build her super fast, right? Uh, if you have the speed gear for that, uh, but some people don't do that. So let's take a look at Epic 7 stats here. And so big shout out to Epic 7 stats. Uh, I use this fairly often when I'm trying to figure out builds, seeing what other people uh, are gearing up their units as. Uh, and you also get a synergy and counter list which is uh pretty good to give you an idea as to what units you might pair this unit with in pvp uh what unit they might not go well with uh, it also gives you pick data so it shows you what percentage uh, this unit is picked when which is actually pretty cool uh so let's take a look here at uh, her popular sets and artifacts so you'll see here she's mainly run on speed and resist or like a speed and health set uh, again, I'm running on a speed effectiveness set because that's the best that I got, okay? Uh, but you can definitely build her with specific sets, sets to give her better stats. Uh, most of the stats that are on here, uh, the DNs run Rod of Amaryllis. However, you can definitely run Guardian Ice Crystals. But that artifact is a limited artifact, uh, which came along in the ReZero collab. Uh, some people run her on a Magar House Tome, uh, which allows her to turn cycle even faster. Uh, but let's take a look here. We're sorting by top speeds. And so again, uh, I can't even hit 289, right? This is not a speed that, that I can hit. I think the highest that I can probably hit just on my gears, maybe 280, and that's stripping every other unit. Uh, again, you don't have to run her that fast unless you want her to be an opener. And if you do, you probably have a lot of speed here. Otherwise, uh, I think that uh, you'll see here, you will you can run her um, anything above like 220, I think is completely fine. Uh, 220, 230, you'll see 250s here, 260s. Uh, but you'll see the general idea is you want her to, you want to build her with bulk. So some good defense, HP, as much speed as you can, and at least 100 resistance, everything after that. Is going to be bonus uh we'll look at a few builds here now keep in mind that these builds are uh i would say like on the higher end of builds but at least it gives you uh some stats to aim for uh you'll see this one here is on a speed resistance set uh has close to 100 res uh it's built 253 speed 250 speed right 16k hp 1.5k defense uh, so I think this is perfectly fine uh, if you're using her as like a full support, right? This isn't going to be a speed opener DN uh, because she's not fast enough. And so this is going to hit 
the 260 mark with that seven speed boost or that seven speed bonus that you get from RTA. Uh, here's another DN. This one is on the faster end. This is a speed resist build. Uh, you'll see almost 150 resistance, uh, 280 speed. So this is going to be hitting 287 speed. Uh, so this could potentially be an opener DN. Uh, with Magaraha's Tome, which is going to allow her to turn cycle almost instantaneously after she goes with her S3. Uh, moving on to the next one here. This one is a bit of an outlier. It is a counter DN build. Keep in mind, she does have a CR push on the S1. So every time that she gets hit, she'll give herself a CR push. Uh, keep in mind that if you do decide to go on this build, uh, you're going to have to build her very, very tanky because you want her to get hit. Uh, and at the same time, you want her to be able to resist getting locked down, provoked, controlled, things like that. You also notice that she's on Guardian Ice Crystals, which is providing some more healing uh, on some of the units that get very low on HP. Uh, so here, this one is going to be meant to support, right? More of a bruiser play style. Uh, but again, she's hitting that 260 mark uh, or above with that seven speed. That's going to be DN. Let me know your thoughts about DN. Are you going to be pulling for her? So my overall recommendation is if you don't have DN, uh, I would encourage you to try to pick her up. Uh, hopefully you don't hit pity, uh, but she does have a skin currently in the epic pass, which turns her into a magical girl. So I'm not sure what more I can say, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know how it goes if you end up pulling for her. Like always, if you happen to enjoy the video, hit that like button if you haven't subscribed. Hey, think about subscribing. It really helps the channel grow and reach more people like you who like content like this. Like always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.